Hi there, this is Nanon, I'm here with a review of one of the new Star Wars Battle Packs. This is the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack, retailing for $12.99 and includes four minifigures. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigs first. So we have the uh, two Kashyyyk Troopers, these are the new um, minifigures that have features out of green printing, um, contrary to the one that LEGO printed back in 2005, which has the sand green printing, and I like the other one much better, and it blends in greatly, um, pretty well with the uh, dark tan. So there is the uh, printing on the minifigure head and they are identical to the other ones which are the Elite Core Troopers and they have a helmet design which I think is a new one. I'm not too familiar. I haven't been keeping track of my uh, Star Wars minifigure helmet design so it might be uh, a uh, same mode so I'm not too sure. Now one of the things that is new in these 2013, I mean 2014 around year release of Star Wars sets that they included a uh, new blaster which I really like and they shoot quite far but probably not with enough impact to knock down a minifigure and I missed on my first shot so luckily LEGO has included many of these one by one ground plates so that if you do miss a um, lose one of these you can always find plenty more replacements my accuracy is just off the charts today. There we go. So, as you can see, these um, I really like these shooters. They go quite far, unlike the flick fire missiles that LEGO has introduced for quite a while back. And in fact, they can actually go from here all the way to the back of the wall. Yep, which is about a, a one meter distance. So onto the main vehicle. Um, LEGO has produced many versions of the Swamp Speeder and this is a, com a compact version that's very suitable for a battle pack and I really really like the design and the uh, awesome parts that it contains. Not only does it feature two more of these blasters but it also includes quite an array of interesting parts for uh, space and sci-fi builders so let's take a look. We have these um, hooks, or not hooks, but <laughs> clips. We have a um, this piece right here. It's another Technic Bush and T uh, pin hybrid. Mine is a blue part, of course. And there is the uh, droid body. It's a nice and useful piece right there. And there is a uh, unprinted uh, astromech droid head, which is quite useful and Pretty rare. It's got a two by two, I mean two by four curved slope right there, which is useful. And it has I do like these the uh, wedge slopes, which I haven't seen in too many sets that are undecorated and unprinted. And of course it has a um, the dark red one by four curved slope. So overall, a also this part. Overall, a very great um, selection of parts. A very nifty little model, which I fortunately have taken apart, so I can't show you in its entirety now. And the guns, I like them. They have four of them. You even get an extra one of these um, triggers, which you can take off and just have the main gun piece. And I do like that because it gives more modularity, more options to the gun. So if you want to just use the main part for like a Grebo or something, then and not worry about the dark. Uh, blade and you can do that so really like the set I highly recommend it great parts great minifigures and uh, lots of things to uh, shoot at so hope you enjoyed this video